You too. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Could I Change? Carly Russell. It finally comes out. The truth. Let's watch the press conference. Good afternoon. Thanks to everyone for attending again today. I want to thank the members of our department and all of law enforcement who played a role in the investigation of this case. Last Wednesday, July 19th, we held a press conference and provided you with the facts of the Carly Russell disappearance. We told you the investigation was ongoing. And we helped you determine where Carly was during the 49 hours of her disappearance. Today, I've talked to and received a statement from Mr. Emery Anthony, attorney for Carly Russell. Mr. Anthony has scheduled a meeting for Carly to meet with investigators early this afternoon, but then I received an email stating that a statement was being provided by him on her behalf. Mr. Anthony asked that I read the statement in its entirety, which I will do now. My client has given me permission to make the following statement on her behalf. There was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 9th, 13th, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. My client did not have any help in this incident, but this was a single act done by herself. My client was not with anyone or any hotel with anyone from the time she was missing. My client apologizes for her actions to this community, the volunteers who were searching for her, to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies as well, as to her friends and family. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. Carly, again, ask for your forgiveness and prayers. You ask for our prayers and forgiveness to work through your issues? All the money, the manpower, the hashtags, everything. And it was just a oopsies. I made a mistake. There was no taller. You went out of your ways to do all of this. And you wanna know what's funny? DJ. You wanna know what's funny about all this? You <laughs> The lawyer said she did not go to a hotel. You know what that tells me? And I can very, I'm, I may be wrong, but she said she never left the area and she was not in a hotel, which means to tell me that somebody called in on all those things for the detectives and the parents and said, oh, she's over here in this hotel. I know it's her. So she may have very well snuck away and stayed in the area and went to the hotel with whoever it was. Why go through all of this? Why? Let's go come out, Carly. It's a matter of time because the detectives are going to find out what happened while you were gone. The detectives are going to be looking into what happened in those 49 hours that you were gone. Can't just say, oh, <laughs> oopsie. Because they're going to they interview one of these days. Because they used a lot of money, a lot of manpower, and had this going nationally, having us hashtagging, doing all this stuff. Just for you to say that, oh, nothing happened for 49 hours. I was just, what, in the woods, chilling, camping, cooking some marshmallows and some s'mores? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Either she really just went out, did all this, went to a hotel with some other man or woman, and decided this is how she was. Listen. I want y'all to hear this, man. How wild it has to be. I need to turn on some uh, crazy music, man. Here's my plan. This is what we're going to do. I think what I'm going to do, I'm gonna pretend to see a baby running on the street. And when I see that baby, I'm gonna call the police. The police are gonna think I'm gone. I'm gonna sneak into the woods. And they're gonna look for me. 
where the coast is clear and I've had my fun. You're gonna show back up and everything will be okay. I'll tell them I got kidnapped with a baby, a redhead, a female, a trucker, a car, cheese crackers. And they're gonna believe me. <laughs> they're gonna believe me like fools. And if the story falls apart, I just tell them it was a mistake. All is well that ends well. And whatever I did that night, they'll ask themselves, what did I do? Where was I? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> and that's it. Nope. What should happen to this woman? She should probably go to jail. She's your third time. False report, false kidnapping, false missing person. And you're going to come out here and tell us to have prayers and forgive you. And then, um, oh, you know what? It's all good to go. Mm -mm. Because you know what does? If you know what this does, it sets a precedent. If you've ever heard that. If other people say, oh, she got off with it. Other people are going to do it. Now they know what to do. Remember, every crime that gets through like, through like this. Now, detectives do very good jobs. But there, there are going to be people who will be like, hmm, well, I know what not to do. And then if I want to go off with a little fling, you're going to have to do it differently. You obviously can't say you got kidnapped and all this other stuff. You're going to have to go about it differently. But you want to set a precedent that this is not okay. You cannot go out here and start lying and saying that people kidnapped you and really you just disappeared to go have a little fun getaway. You, you, you say you didn't have any mental issues. The lawyer didn't come out and say you have any mental issues. So there has to be a reason you do this. You want to make sure that nobody ever wasted their money, their manpower, and all this kind of stuff. Because every time this happens, we have to take it seriously. We have to take it seriously. So there needs to be some consequences of not, not telling the truth and not doing this. See, I'm sorry. I see it's windy back there. So y'all let me know what y'all think should happen to Carly. As far as we know, this saga is over until Carly has to come out and say something. And best believe we will be on that. But did you all think it was a hoax? I definitely thought it was as soon as I didn't see the toddler in that camera footage. <sighs> I said it might have been a mental breakdown, but then I had to start questioning stuff when she started telling the story. So anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Carly Russell, 